All right, so I don't like doing this many videos in one day, but I'm also impatient, like opening my things. It is super dark in here. I think a storm might be rolling in, so that is awesome. If you are a music fan, stick around. If you're only here for my horror stuff, stick around, but with not as much enthusiasm. We're gonna be talking about some vinyl today. I got some vinyl from the sale that uh, Rise Records was having, and it arrived today. I ordered four because it four different ones because they were buy one get one free. Um, I'll be honest, when it came to the fourth one, I was like, I can't find anything else I like. So I grabbed something that definitely wasn't a need, but I like the album, so I snagged it. All right, so since there are four pieces in this box and they did a great job packaging it, this one might, this video might be a little, little long, but we'll try our best to go quickly. So let's get this open. All right. All right. So Rise Records was, maybe still is, but back in the day they were like one of the record labels around. They were signing everybody left and right um, and had some of my favorite acts there for a long time. So these here, we're gonna go one at a time on these bad boys. This one here is an album that I have not given enough listening to, so I'm very excited to own it and spin it here shortly and see how it sounds. But this is, this is why this is gonna be a longer video. I probably could have just opened everything before, but isn't watching me like a kid on Christmas your favorite part? All right, this is the band, the Evergreen Terrace, not the just Evergreen Terrace. Dead Horses is the name of this album. Uh, Evergreen Terrace is playing Furnace Fest this year. I have not seen them since randomly stumbling upon them at some warp tour. I don't remember what warp tour it was, but I wanted to see them. I knew that they were there, but I was needing a place to rest for a minute. Oh, it came with a CD. Needing a place to rest for a minute, and just so happened that as I was sitting there under the influence, they came out on stage. So, Dead Horses, Evergreen Terrace, let's see what this looks like. Alright, so it is a brownish marble print there, or pressing there. Very nice, happy to have it in the CD2, which I recently realized I, aside from my DVD player, I really don't have a CD player anymore, which is really weird for me to say, because CDs obviously used to be my thing. This is the one that I ordered just because I needed to get a fourth one. Um, so it is an album that I love, uh, but wouldn't have bought it aside from that. Basically because this is back when Dance Gavin Dance was first starting out and their singer was a gigantic tool bag. Um, so this is Downtown Battle Mountain, one of my favorites from them. And I told them I invented Times New Roman is a solid song. I feel like this is just black vinyl. Yeah, it is. So it's not a special pressing or anything, just solid black vinyl. Um, but again, they were buy one, get one free. So I needed to, I hate these sleeves, needed to round out the purchase, you know? All right, so Evergreen Terrace, Dance, Gavin, Dance. And then these two right here, uh, these were to round out my collection of albums that I need to listen to because I love this band and I didn't give these two enough credit so, first we have, there we go, Self-Titled Bleeding Through. This was one of their later releases, um, but I didn't really give it enough of a listen at the time. And I love Bleeding Through. I might be the only person in the world that will say this, but the truth is probably my favorite Bleeding Through album. And I'm excited to give this one a good spin. I've listened to bits and pieces, but not in its entirety. So we have that nice 
red flare, clear orange look to it. So that is a great looking vinyl. I'm sure I've ordered from Rise Records before, but again, I just want to point out like the packaging they did. Everything's in really good shape. I don't see any dings on the vinyl. I don't see any wear and tear on the sleeves. So very happy with that. This is our second. It doesn't have the album title title on the cover. Let's see if I mix these up. Maybe this isn't the self-titled one. Okay, so this is actually The Great Fire, uh, and this is actually the self-titled. My bad. Bleeding Through is working on new material, last I heard, so very excited to see what they come up with. They did go on a hiatus for a little bit, but they are back. They're in the studio. And here we have another half and half. So we got clear purple splatter and that nice brown color. Uh, if I look here, I can tell you. So a lot of people remember Bleeding Through from their first um, major album release, which was This This Is Love, This Is uh, Murder. Um, and uh, This Is Love, This Is Murder. It came out in 2003, had some clips in there from the Boondock Saints movie. Everybody loved that. Uh, I loved that. But the uh, the Great Fire came out in 2012. The self-titled came out in 2010. Working on a new one. They did have Love Will Kill All dropped in 2018. Loved that album. So all in all, I'd say that I took pretty good advantage of the Rise Records sale. Here we go. Bleeding through. The Great Fire. Downtown Battle Mountain and Evergreen Terrace. Thanks for stopping by. If you love these albums, if you have tracks that you recommend, put them in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Do all that fun stuff. Hopefully I'll be seeing you at a show here soon.